Hey everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. We are here in the Mountaineer's Hut in Timberwolf Mountain, starting episode 10 of Misery Mode. Um, we have a fire going, got some teas ready. I think the plan was to um, bite a little bit of condition loss here from here to um, Pleasant Valley. We do have our teas, so it's not going to be a huge deal, but I mean, it's still going to be something we kind of um, have to figure out. We are a little overweight, but a lot of this is kind of weight I want in a sense so 14 minutes let's just add a few more sticks we can afford to just as kind of some thinking time right now um let's see 37 those are hot do i have any other like things i could make it doesn't seem like it which is kind of unfortunate i can prepare a little bit i think i just want to make one more one more tea but i do want to move while this weather is good so we will get on that here um in just a second now can i make a potato without a oh i can i definitely can but it's just shorter in the pot so let's actually make a potato really hoping this weather just kind of chills out for me really i'm not overstaying my welcome but i am definitely staying longer than I want to. But I think that's okay. okay. And how much water do I have? Okay, gallon and a half. That is completely fine. Completely fine. So, um, in the last episode, we increased... Well, I guess the last two episodes, we've increased our carry weight. So, that is really excellent. I really think that's going to help us, especially um, with our next affliction, which, who knows, it could be another weight impact. You know, so getting ahead of that curve is definitely a good thing. Uh, potato, 23 minutes. I think we'll wait on that. Maybe I'll chuck a few more sticks on so I can take a torch. Got a few torches. I think I will. Yeah. 10 minutes. All good. And well, 34, still burned. Okay, let's start taking these three off. Three torches off. Whoops. There we go. Whoops. Exit out the game. Didn't, don't uh, do that often. A little accident there. That's okay. We're off though. Let's get going. Oh, gosh. <laughs> opened the door wrong. Nice. Alright, nothing that's gonna get us in trouble. No decoys or anything. Did I pick up my pelts? I think I did. Now where, if they're not in here... Where did I leave my pelts? I left them behind somewhere. Oh, dearie my. I most definitely left them behind somewhere. Where would that be, though? Um, Where would that be? Where would that be? I mean, I gotta leave them behind. I have no choice. I really don't have a choice at this point. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh, my gosh. Where did I leave them? I'm trying to think. Angler's Den? Did I really go that long without the pelts on me? Seems a little weird. Well, it happens. It happens. There's actually a lot of deer carcasses, though, where we're going. And especially with our um, crafting of arrows and a bow here uh, shortly, I don't think... Um, I don't think leaving those behind is going to be a huge problem. I did want that extra extra rabbit pelt so I could, you know, make the gloves, but you can't make the gloves without guts. So it really doesn't matter if we have the pelt now or later. We're still going to need the guts. So not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. I even vowed I would get better at not leaving stuff like that behind, and yet I do it anyway. But whatever, whatever, it's fine. All right, could be worse. Could always be worse. Could have a moose here. All 
All right, we're losing temp pretty fast. Negative 38 out here. I don't want to drink all my teas, but if it comes to it, I will. In the last few. I definitely want to, I want to do a little saving of the teas as well, because we still have a bit of a ways to go. We still do. I'm going to actually start sprint. <laughs> sprinting doesn't make a difference. I forgot. Never mind. Although sprinting, it's going to get my energy down, which is good. I'm not going to climb the rope. I'm going to kind of scale it, I think. Ah, uh, no birch bark, so here's two. Perfect. I was going to say, if I had one and there was only one on the ground, that would be enough, but good. So I'm not really sure why I'm still collecting sticks. It's really just kind of hardwired in my DNA at this point. But I'll, I think I'll drop the sticks um, probably in the prepper cache. gonna throw this torch down soon we are gonna start getting cold but i think it's okay let's just drink that gives us half temperature back just about it's really not that bad so let's try to get into pleasant valley as quick as possible very surprised so far of kind of this journey back. It's been, rel knock on wood, obviously, but it's been relatively easy. Relatively easy. No uh, no huge obstacles so far. Really, the only thing is, uh, is the cold. Cold is killer. And good thing it's only the cold, you know? Because if it was anything else, it would be um, even worse. Anything else, I mean... Also in the weather, like blizzards frequently. It seems like we don't get blizzards too, too often, like interloper settings type of blizzards, you know? Nothing too extreme in the weather department, which is good. Which is good. I think the already extreme part is uh, the cold temperatures. So... We're not really getting away for free. Pick that up. Oh, look at all these sticks. I have to pick it up. I, do you need a home? All right, we're 91 pounds now. <laughs> I need to drop something. I probably will drop something. I, I need all of this firewood for tomorrow. When we start a fire. 51, yeah. We'll drop some. I thought that was a deer carcass. I almost got really happy. Oh, man, I'm so disappointed about that. You know what's bad is, like, I don't even know where I left them. It, it had to be anglers then. It had to be. That's so annoying, though, because, you know, I mean, we, we spent time getting those... Getting those pelts off the carcasses. Like, we spent, like, two and a half hours doing all that. Only to leave it behind, and we'll probably never be back here again. And that, well, I don't actually know about that. We might sum it. At some point, if we live that long. But I really don't know. I don't think we're going to be back in Ash Canyon ever again, though. So those pelts, if I did leave them in Angler's Den, they are unfortunately a lost cause. But that's okay. There's plenty of other pelts to be had in the world. No need to, to be upset. Yeah, let's get out of Timberwolf. Please and thank you. So... Kind of like in the headlights for this episode, I think Mystery Lake, we're going to try to get back there. I think we're going to try to get back there too at full condition. We're almost at 50% already. I would like to get warm ASAP. Still sprinting. We're, uh, it's past midnight. I thought it was a lot earlier in the night. Okay. Probably still gonna sleep a solid nine hours. That way we wake up and it's midday. Start a fire. And we, we set sail by afternoon when it's a little warmer. Relatively speaking. I think that's probably a good plan. So 
So I'll go ahead and take all these sticks. And we'll drop them by the fire. Kind of on our way. Up our cash here. Getting so heavy. So the rope climb. I'm not going to climb the rope. We're going to go ahead and just do a little sneaky. Sneaky little tactic on the left side here. Try to sneak around this rope without taking too much condition damage. Because at this point, I think we're so heavy we're going to be taking damage either way, you know. Ah, there it is. That's okay. That's alright. Our part is over. And we're about to sleep, so... All is well. Drop down there. Drop down here. I gotta find an easier way to be doing that because there used to be... I used to be able to get down that without taking any condition damage at all. You know? There was a point. There was a point. So I'll have to reinvestigate that because... Pretty useful. I don't know why I'm relighting this torch, but I am. So, solid nine hours, for sure. Um, <laughs> we need that after a little bit of condition loss. So, what's in here? Okay, we're going to be dropping a lot of things in here. Including most of my sticks. 33 of them. i going to go in there. Um, I could drop some matches off here. I really could. I really, really could. Maybe just a 12-pack. Just as a little thing to have here. We'll put this out. And we're going to need some more food. I forgot to eat my potato. I'm going to eat it now. Potato was supposed to be warmth, and I forgot to eat it, of course. Okay, we're looking good in the food department. 75 cattails. I mean, we're going to be looking good for a long time. Okay, bedtime... Nine hours? Yeah, let's do it. Not like we had any pelts to put down and cure or anything. Uh, that's unfortunate. That makes me so upset, but it's okay. Alright. A little tired, still. A little tired. I mean, we're missing a little bit of, like, a sliver of our water hydration, but I think we're okay. So I might go outside. We're going to start a fire. We're going to let things cook. I'm going to make bandages because I think after last night it reminds me that I still need to make bandages. Because I don't have any. And I have cloth to make... I don't have cloth to make bandages. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> We're a little mess here. A little mess. Oh, there's a cure birch. Oh, cool. Okay, excellent, actually. So let's take all these out. And I'm actually going to... We're going to be moving very slow, but I'm, I want to put these next to the fire outside. So. I don't even mind, like, stoking the fire with just strictly sticks. That way we get nice and warm. It looks like a blizzard's probably on its way. Which I don't mind. I did break my... Oh, I brought my bedroll. Okay. If I left that behind, that would be a problem. That would be a problem. But let's just put like five, I don't know, five hours worth of sticks on here. Try to get really warm. Trying to be cheap and save a piece of coal, which never typically works out for me. To accelerant. I want to save the accelerant. In case a wolf is on us or something. Come on. There we go. Okay. Stick time. A lot of sticks, too. That works. Put this out. This should get us close to what we need to be at. We'll wait and see, though. Okay. So, uh, more teas. Which we need to kind of make, though. But I think I still... I think I'll probably... Oh, we need much more. Many more sticks than that. Uh, maybe put a coal on. Yeah, we're going to be departing from here anyway, so a piece of coal is probably a good thing. 
Okay. We will go ahead. Oh, I don't have any more rose hips. Ooh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's not great. Not too great. Well, I guess part of me wants to go to Thompson's Crossing then. Don't have that much, uh, that many rose hips, huh? We'll go take a, take a left down here. But to, to do that, we're going to have to get light. You know, we're going to have to be a lot lighter than we are now. Yeah, that, that's not going to cut it, unfortunately. I'll try dropping the sticks. See if that works for us. Whoops. Um, let me drop, like... Eh, we'll keep five on us. We'll keep five on us. We're going to find more sticks along the way. I don't really know what I want to do with this fire. I mean, I know we got to warm up, but I'm planning on making some more teas, but I don't have too many more. I'll make another birch bark, because that seems like it'll be handy at some point. And I'll actually drop maybe the coffee as well. I'm not going to start drinking coffee, because it's coffee. I want to kind of keep it on me. Um. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Not really on my game right now. I can kind of, you know how you can kind of feel it? Not really on your game. That's me right now. Not really feeling it. Drop the birch bark. I think probably. No, I'm not going to drink it. I'm not going to drink it. I'm going to wait. Yeah, let's wait on that. Take that back. I think what I'll do. What will I do? I think I know what I'll do. Let's see, yeah. Let's cook that. Okay. Zero percent was lost. What do you mean zero percent was lost? Do I have something that can... Is that a glitch? It might be. Ten minutes, thirteen till boiled. Great. Snow's coming down lightly. That's good. I want to try to make some room for some more coal in that other cave there. I really do. It seems a little weird, but... I think it would really help us out. I know we already have 18, and that's a, a fair bit. It is a fair bit. Okay, well, since... Uh... Whoops. I guess I'm just going to place... Yeah, the pork and beans. Let's do that. Is 0% going to be lost again? Because if that's so, that's a glitch. Yep, that's a glitch. Cool. It's a nice glitch, though. I don't mind it. 11 till ready. 4. 7. Okay. I'll drop both of those. Nice. So these can act like a little warmth bonus for us. Love to see that. 70 cattails still. Not going to eat anything because we're going to drink those quote-unquote teas. Uh, one cattail left, though. Mm, it's not great. Definitely not great. So, I guess kind of just trying to really think about this, you know? Just trying to think. So, we're going to go probably to Thompson's Crossing, I think. Thompson's Crossing, and then from there, we work our way to Pleasant, or to uh, Mystery Lake, rather. I think, right? Because we could go to Coastal Highway from here. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. I think we're gonna go to Mystery Lake, but I'll cut through Thompson's Crossing, because that is more food at the end of the day, let's be honest. So, okay. We're warming up nicely. I'm probably going to make just a little more water for warming up purposes. Hoping this weather doesn't change on me. Getting a little late, but it can it can get late if it wants to. Um, we have probably a night of sleeping at Thompson's. If I had to guess. Put this out. So I'm going to torch walk a little bit. 73. How many torches do I have? 
I want a little more. Let's uh, take this coffee, because I don't think we're going to need it. Okay, wind is picking up just a tad. I think I'm going to go. I don't know if I want to stop in that cave. Because we, we have enough coal as is. So I could just make a run for... Whoops. Gotta get a little higher. I could just make a run for Thompson's Crossing. That's not too far away from here. It's really not. I can't be. Do I can't be doing this when I have a easy sprain risk. Not today. All right. Let's eat this. So nice to know of that glitch there. If you put any sort of food in the fire that you smash open, I guess it doesn't register as a. Uh, being smashed open. That's annoying. That's annoying. I have no bandages too to fix that. Luckily it's only a wrist. So I can deal with that. We don't have any two-handed weapons. Or anything like that. Don't even have a flare gun. Would like to have a flare gun. All right, let's calm down. Okay, I'm just going to walk. Some reishis up here, though. So I guess that's always a nice thing. Uh, I got some sticks. I'm really skeptical of this weather. Really am. Do we maybe hang out a little bit and cook the rabbits up? We could actually do that. Uh... Sorry, hold on. We're going to get a little cold, but it's going to probably be for a good cause. Probably. Okay. I just put myself right here. I'm going to go ahead and just light up our best condition torch. That way I have enough time to go get the rabbits while not wasting a match. I don't really need to be doing this because our match situation is really really good actually we've come quite a long way from our beginnings here can I pick you up thank you appreciate it we're gonna have that hypothermia risk here we go while that rabbit gets closer let's just search that nothing there look at all these reishis oh my gosh awesomeness That was a direct hit. Good. Okay. Condition ticking down a little bit, but you know what's really nice about spending all this time outside is that cabin fever is really uh, not really going to have a chance to to get us. So we're really staving that back with uh, with all this outside, especially making that fire um, just over there. Really nice. So, okay. Gonna still try to pick up as many sticks as I can. I still actually think, though, that there's probably gonna be enough coal in here to supply us. But might think about spending the night in this cave as well. Thinking about it. Definitely, definitely thinking about it. I may. I may. It gives us just a little more time but at the end of the day though we really do need to be hurrying back i hate to say it i hate to rush and everything but we kind of do so maybe i cook up these rabbits uh, i think i will take the pelt off of these guys i don't think i'm gonna do the guts though because like i said the guts just take way too long and i'm not gonna walk with the guts on me because that's a very very stupid thing to do please get this fire off because i don't have any more tinder So maybe we try to get the Thompsons tonight. Even if we have to walk in the dark, that's not, like, horrible. It's not horrible. Yeah, it's, it's really not going to be too bad. Okay. I'll put a piece of coal on and a few sticks. We'll comb this cave for some 
some more coal. Go ahead and get this guy harvested. Okay. So I'll move you over there. That one rabbit is ready to be hooked. Wasn't a huge piece, but there we go. And that's a little smaller piece too. Not the biggest pieces, man. Not the biggest pieces. Getting a little unlucky, but what can you do? The hides. Not what I want. Go ahead and tear that down. We're in the need for some firewood here anyway. Uh, I think I'll be able to get the Thompsons once we're all set and done here. I think it's within reach. And what I will also do as well... See, 15 minutes there. Mm. Yeah. Put you right there. There we go. 30 minutes till ready. That's perfect. And then maybe I also put... Oops, sorry. Let's put another tomato soup on there as well. It's going to give us zero calories lost anyway, right? Nice. Okay. We'll eat that. We'll have enough room for these two tomato soups because tomato soup isn't a very calorie filling thing. So, nice. Didn't mean to do that, but I was going to do that eventually. Put another piece of coal on. Just because I will find more. And we have enough water. I'll fully drink my, my water. Or at least most of it. Okay. So, we can take that torch we found. And go ahead and start combing this cave. Gonna pick up all the coal I can find. All the everything, really. Brought my 16 there, so I have enough room. We're getting a little tired. Contemplating maybe sleeping an hour. Make the process go a little quicker. Right, nothing here. This was used to be a, uh, a really, really nice bedroll spawn sometimes. Like right over there. It was a crucial for uh, dead early dead man and some interloper runs, you know? That was really, really important. I'm going to take that shirt and tear it down at some point. As we do need cloth, if you recall. I gotta make some bandages. Can't be waiting on that anymore. Having no cloth is okay. I mean, it's not preferable, but it's okay. But having no bandages is a absolute no-go. Alright, I'm not gonna go under there because 90% of the time there's absolutely nothing to be had besides a little cup of coffee. And in my eyes, a cup of coffee is not worth it because we have 15 back at home base. <laughs> so, I don't think we... We're gonna really need that. Ooh, actually, hmm, tell you what. No, no, hold on, hold on. We actually might use some coffee tonight. If I wanna get to, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a sec, my, my brain meats are activating. My gears are turning. Yeah, actually, I think we are gonna use a, a coffee, so it might be worth it. Let's see, I already have some firewood, so. Kinda worth it. Okay. Drop you. I'll go ahead and light up another torch. So we are going to get a little cold. But nice thing about it is that we have a nice warm coal fire. So nothing to really be too concerned about. Alright, let's go. Oh, here's a bedroll on this side. Wow. I guess it was worth it. So this is, that's good to know for an upcoming Dead Man run, that there can be hole on this side. And there's the cup of coffee I was talking about. Antiseptic, marine flare. Uh, it kind of seems a little silly, but taking this bedroll, that bedroll is going to give us a lot of cloth if we tear it down. Granted, it's an hour and a half tear down. Eh, what am I thinking? Just leave it. I'm trying to make excuses for taking junk. That's what I do best. Alright, I should have just left my clothes off. I don't know why I did this, but... Okay. 
All right. We're freezing. I get it. We really could do with some <laughs> some warmer jackets. We've been doing pretty good this run without our our normal loadout, if you will, with uh, some jackets and such. Been doing really good. Been doing really good. So we'll get back to this warm fire. Yeah, just traveling in the dark in Pleasant Valley is just never recommended. It really isn't. So I'm tempted to do my my nine hours here. Nine hours sleep here. But we just have a, a good bit of energy and we could put one of our coffees to use too. And it's not going to be completely dark until maybe like an hour after sunset. So, I mean, we can make it. I think we can make it. We're just going to have to chug a coffee. <laughs> Probably a few coffees. But now that I have two cups of coffee, I do feel a little better about things. And I got these four minute, 40 minute teardowns that I want to do as well. So, I'll tell you what I will do. Probably a fir wood. Probably two fir wood. Seems a little excessive in it. Kind of is, but that's okay. This is in the name of warming up. Look at how long it takes us to warm up. That's just crazy. Okay. So that's done. Three hours left on that. We're going to go ahead and do the other one. Time's ticking. Time is ticking. Okay. Should have put my two coffees down. That's all right. We'll leave these down while we think. While we grab our remaining coal. I'm going to still try to carry all the coal. I'm going to still try to do that. Uh, anything else I can, I guess, kind of drop right now besides the coal. 24 pieces. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot. If I drop 15, 14. No, I kind of want 2, 3, 4, 5. Carry 15 on me. I feel like that's not too bad. The sticks. I'm always going to find more sticks. Leave 3 there. And a lot too is the torches as well. And these flares. But these flares... I don't know, man. I want to carry the flares. I really do. Really, really do. Just grab the pelts. Let's just leave those there for now. Okay. I'm going to take a coffee now. And our source, our line of defense is going to be torches. So. That'll be good. Okay. Let's get going. Didn't make any teas, but I don't think we're going to need them with our warmth defense here with our two soups. This is really not ideal weather for traveling. If I was smart, I would probably stay put. Probably. Ooh, another flask. I'm going to leave it, though, because I don't need it. Double flask might be a strategy, though. Might be a strategy. You carry more more teas with you. But it's not like we have that many teas to go around, though. That's the thing. I mean, if I had 100 teas in my inventory right now, yes, double flask. Twice the amount of teas that keep warm. A uh, little wind change there. Hug this side. So, yeah, Thompson's Crossing is in our headlights right now. I'm probably going to drop down to the river. Uh, what is this? Is this just fog or is this like an actual blizzard? This is an actual blizzard. Uh, of course. Okay. Well, due to weather, we have to cancel our expedition. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, I mean, I I had that inclination. I did. I definitely did. Negative 77. I was on the money, but we wasted a coffee. 
We indeed wasted a coffee, but whatever. It's okay. It's it's honestly fine. We we definitely could have made it. I'll tell you that. We definitely could have made it to Thompson's. But I'm not going like this. Absolutely no way. Okay. And we still have our fire going, though. That's the nice thing. Alright. Well, is what it is here. I am going to drop these rabbit hides. Get those carrying a little bit. Not going to do anything else with the rabbits. Just really a sit and wait type of game here. Unfortunately. Our bed roll nice and warm. Um, yeah. Let's make some more teas then. Because that is a must. We have an hour and 20 something. Let's do an hour. Alright. I warmed us up though. Alright, fatigue is gone. Or fatigue reduced is gone, rather. Chuck that on. Do another hour of preparing. That's only a half hour though. Uh, 58 minutes. If there was something I wanted to tear down, it would be you. Yes. For bandages. Okay. Yeah, let, let's make some. Went way too long without bandages there. That was very, very risky. Good. A little stacked up. Got some nice... Got a nice little reishi stash going. I'll take three torches off of this. Whoops. Alright. And I'll put you out. Okay. Well, in the morning... Wow, we could... Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this fire going. Seems stupid, and it is. But we have so much. We have so much coal. We can do it. We can do it. It's okay. I'm gonna drink up, and we're gonna put in nine hours, nice and warm. Perfect. Should be good. Nice. All right. All the sprains are healed. Still got two hours on the fire. Sunrise. This is good. This is good. So what I will do... Eat a cattail. Pick that up. I'm going to drop both of these. These are going to be our warmth bonuses. 30 minutes for them. That is okay. I'm going to make some reishis. Maybe I'll put down... Yeah, I might. I might. So I saw a ranger stew. What is that? What is a ranger stew? Oh, wow. What is this? Max condition, rest, but it makes you fatigued. Okay. A thick and greasy stew filled to the brim with harvested meats. Fuel for a long day in the woods. Well, we gotta get to cooking level 4 for that. But... Looks cool. Venison, rabbit, potato, carrot, broth, and meal flour. Not the hardest thing. Not the hardest ingredients to obtain. That's cool, though. I like that. Alright, these are the only two reishis I'm gonna really make. Or am I? Hold on a sec. Hold on one minute. We can really utilize our flask here. We want to. I think we're gonna. Okay. Everybody's everybody's hot. Good. Take this. I'm gonna take these, most importantly. Take that back. Take you back. Take you guys. All you. Let's go. I'm going to put number one, that flask down. Number two in there. Okay, let's go. 
I'm actually gonna hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, how's the weather? Weather's not good. It's really not good. But I'm gonna travel, I think, in it anyway. I think. No, 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 no. Let's hold on. Let's hold on. Okay, we, there was no rush. Good. Okay. Yeah, let's hold on a little bit. We have firewood. We're never going to be back here, probably. It's okay. Yeah, we can hang out a little bit. So, put these tees back down. Put everything back down. Probably should have checked the... No, 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 no. I didn't want to eat that. That's okay. That's all right. Drop all these. One, two, three, and four. Shake them all. Good. Those are hopefully good. Nice. Okay. Used quite a bit of water on that, but I'm going to probably hold off because we got water where we're going. Anything I can prepare, anything I can make. Probably going to make some more tinder for the time being. Waiting for this weather outside just to relax a little bit. Let's take a look. How we doing? Please be a little better. We're a little better, but not where I want to be. Definitely not where I want to be. Take a second to stand out here. Maybe the weather will change in front of my eyes. Eh, this looks a little better. It actually does look a little better. No, I'll, I'll move in this. I'll definitely move in this. Let's do that. All hot. Good. Wait just a little bit of time. There we go. Okay. Alright, time to move. Alright. So, as per usual. Put them in there. Excellent. We have the pelts. Left the flask behind. But we have our own flask. What is... Uh, I just left for one second. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I left for two seconds. Two seconds I was gone outside and it blizzards. Oh man. We're really locked down here. Oh, rinse and repeat. Oh my gosh. This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Well, I mean, if it's just going to be like that, I'm just going to keep these here for now. And toss a few sticks on. I will drop the tees for the eighth time. Shake them all. I'll go ahead and drop both of these yet again. Shake that, shake that. Everything looks good. So why why the blizzard now? I literally walked outside and it was nice. I wanna, it was so nice I wanted to move in it. Yeah, we're locked down blizzard. Okay. Well, that's going to keep us here until later in the afternoon. So we'll go ahead and eat some cattails. Probably going to rip into this. It's good for now. Yeah, we're fine. Get that out of here. An hour to spare. I don't really have an hour worth of things to do in my inventory, you know? Drop those. All the 20%. I'll just move them over here. Alright. Three flares. It's a lot, but I'm not going to drop them here. Likely will not drop them here. Hmm. Yeah, I tell you what, though. Kind of me just realizing this. Can't really make any arrows before we go forge. We really can't. 
Because we need a knife. Don't we? I think we're gonna need a knife to make all that stuff. The arrow shafts. Fire no, okay. Fire hardened arrows. That's 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 an idea. That's an idea. I think that's for later on though. Might definitely be for later on. So it looks like we're gonna have to forge first. That we're gonna have to forge. Not a bad thing. I'm still probably gonna go forge in the musk egg though. I wanna get back to trappers as soon as possible. Oh, that's hot. Good. I might just start sleeping. To be honest. Put a bed roll down. Everything is not gonna burn. That's good. Might as well sleep. May as well. Nine minutes. I got a feeling the blizzard. Not done yet. Yeah. All right. Hey, look at our condition, though, huh? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Keep that down. 37 minutes. I would definitely be repairing some stuff, but <laughs> I can't. I don't have any cloth. Oh, man. I could probably... I should have... I should have took that bedroll. I honestly should have. That would have been a nice teardown. That's okay. That's all right. I'll tear down these torches, though, for some sticks, because it does seem like we're going to... If this blizzard keeps up anyway, we are going to need a bit of firewood. Keep going. We'll tear down everything 30 and below. Which includes the 30% torch. Alright. Overall though, not a bad uh not a bad little progression. We we the walk back from Ash Canyon was something I was very worried about. It was. It was something I was a uh, really on the fence of. But it really seems like we handled that pretty nicely. I'm gonna just get the 31% done too. We handled it pretty nicely, so I'm happy about it. Now it's just getting back to Mystery Lake, which is kind of the second part of this journey. We're still going. We're still going. I'm gonna tear down a two minute torch out here. Look how fast we lose. That's crazy. Two minutes and we're a quarter. Lost a quarter of our temp. All right. 43 minutes. No, uh, no fire burn bonus in here. That's for sure. Not getting too much of that. If we had the fire outside, oh yeah. Definitely. Alright, I'm gonna check again. Approaching midday. I mean, the blizzard can keep going if it wants to, but it's gotta lift kind of soon. Just kind of soon. Preferably towards early afternoon. Which we're almost at. At least these are carrying nicely. That's one good thing. Locked down, huh? Really locked down. Throw the cedar on. It's heavy. Uh, part of me, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to go back and grab that head roll. And I actually think I might. I think I might. I should have done this an hour ago. But I'll just go grab it. Ten cloth is something that can go pretty far. Pick up any remaining coal along the way. Maybe there's some things I missed.
All right. I'll drop you here. We'll go into the abyss. Grab that bedroll. I see it. Take our clothes off. We do this because we don't want the clothes to get soaked. Because if they get soaked, we're going to have to spend like 12 hours near a fire. And I don't want to do that. It's not 12 hours, but it's a long time. And I'm not in the mood for it. Yep, cold, cold, cold. Hate being cold. Uh, let's put that on. And then, yeah, it still's on the outside. Good. I'll leave the crampons off for now. I'll put them on once we go back outside. Are they still at 100%? They are. They are. Crampons give you a little more protection, too, which makes sense, because if a wolf is attacking you, you got a chance to kick it with your spiky shoes, you know? Spiky shoes. It's the nickname for crampons now. I never really looked at the stats for the crampons. Let me do that real quick. So, 100% waterproof, which makes sense. 3% protection. Ah, there we go. The protection is what makes it worth having on. Alright. One of my more favorite caves in the game, I will say. I like this cave. A little opening up there, it looks like. Up here? Maybe not. I don't know. Get you out of there. Alright. Uh, I don't want to use any more coal, though. That's the thing. That's a big thing. I'll tell you what. Let me just do... I'll do another hour sleep. And then I'll check outside. And if outside is not done blizzarding, then I'll probably go run for sticks. Okay. Still not the best weather, so I think I still might do that bedroll teardown. Um, sorry, hold on. We actually need to, we do need to find sticks out here. That is a non-negotiable thing. There's one. There's two. Two sticks, huh? That gonna be all? Looks like it. There's one. Okay. Sprinting does nothing. It's incredible. Really, really does nothing. Alright. Ooh. Almost dead. The fire. I really kind of think we should be moving in this, huh? I really kind of think so. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... Might seem a little crazy, and it kind of is, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay. Rabbit pelts come with me. Uh, I'm not gonna take three torches off, but I'll take two. I guess it really doesn't matter. What's the difference, right? Okay. Those two, we're gonna eat. Uh, this... All the reishis in there. Okay, let's go. Porch is going to get blown out. Fully expecting it. That's okay, though. Well, it's blown from the other way now. That's actually quite a nice, uh, quite a nice thing. Ah, it blew out. Thought I could save it. Take it, though. It's still good. Wow, we need to eat already? Oh my gosh. And I'll go ahead and just eat the other one, too. Didn't warm us up too much. Wasn't in the windshade when I drank it, so that's probably why. Here we go. A little more shaded. Really? No shade? 
Oh, this is brutal. Okay. Take this out. Gonna be drinking that. Nice and hot. Good. I'm trying to save as much as I can before we get to Thompson's, because we are gonna need it for the walk back to Mystery Lake. That is going to be a tough walk. A tough walk. Getting from Thompson's to up near Signal Hill is always a little challenging. We do have a wind that is not a headwind, though. So that is something I'm grateful for. I'm going to take two of these out, and we're going to save one in there for, I don't know, an occasion. Okay. A little better. Looks like it is going to potentially start clearing up. Yeah, it will. Good. We like to see. So we get into Thompson's by late afternoon, I say. And then what do we do after that? Well, we loot out the entire crossing. Probably sleep a little bit in the crossing. And then we head on out. I would really kind of... Maybe we make it to Mystery Lake by... Or not Mystery Lake, but the Winding River and Pleasant Valley transition. Maybe we do that. Kind of by the end of the day. Seems like a stretch. Really does seem like a stretch, but... Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So I think I'm going to actually drop down here and follow the river. Usually I like taking the road. Um, but I think today I'm going to change things up a little bit. There's the bear. I rarely see him over here nowadays. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. So we'll take the river. Sometimes on the river, though, you can get a nice, uh, a nice few wolves to spawn in. So we'll watch out for that. Yeah, there you go. There's one down there. But it's like a nice little rock fall here. Cascading rocks. Gotta watch the sprain risk. There we go. Oh, there's one. There's a wolf right over there. This is where we carry rocks, folks. Two wolves over there. Man, my character's got an arm. Yeah, go check up on that. Good. Man, a lot of wolves here. What's going on? I hear the bear. Keep walking. Wonder if the bear comes down here. Not too sure. Oh, we gotta be quiet just to listen out. No, nope. no, nope. come on, you can do it. No, nope. matches aren't gonna save you. There we go. Good. Two wolves over there. There was one wolf in the trees. I'll leave them alone. Just trying to head down to the river. So, just kind of as we're cruising. Doesn't really look like too many threats are in the way, so we can kind of... Take our mind off of the walk in a little bit. So honest thoughts on misery mode, right? I first came into this not really liking it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. You know, first few episodes you can probably hear me complain too. That it was just kind of not very fair. 
just not very fair and just overall kind of felt forced. Now, the forced part still hasn't gone away. I'll tell you that. You know, I still feel like the game is forcing you to not live long. And at first, I was kind of like, eh, it feels a little cheap, kind of the way they're doing it with these afflictions. But I'll tell you what. After playing Misery Mode, a few episodes in, I started to definitely get warmed up to it. And I'll tell you right now, I absolutely love this mode. Uh, I think it's really, it's a really good challenge. Um, are the... Oops. Um, are the afflictions fair? You know, are they realistic? Some of them, probably. Frigid bones might be. You know, you're, you're constantly getting hypothermia every day. Your body's going to weaken. Um, diminished form. What is it? That's the one where you can't carry as much? I mean, depends. I feel like if you're doing all this walking and all this lifting, that you would kind of get used to carrying a little more. But, you know, I can see how maybe your body, combined with the hypothermia, you know, disintegrates, if you will. Uh, and then the last one there. What is the last one? Yeah, ru rheumatic joints. Uh, painful inflammation. That one, I guess, can just be avoided altogether. <laughs> that one kind of seems a little weirder. But still, though, honestly, I, I honestly do not mind misery. And I think that once we die, I wouldn't be opposed to doing another attempt at misery to try to beat our record. Maybe we would take a different approach. Maybe we go towards Jim Wolf Mountain first this time or something, you know? Something a little different. Um But yeah, I think I think it's a cool it's a cool game mode. I do think after this challenge though, we're probably gonna start up a dead man. Um just because this challenge has really gotten me into wanting to play, you know, hardcore long dark. I'll have fun. I mean, I have fun playing easy long dark i mean it's nice to just kind of snipe a wolf from across the map go harvest them out with a knife in 20 minutes that's all nice but what's also nice is kind of struggling and getting by day to day like kind of we're doing right now you know getting by your day to day not every day is guaranteed and trying to keep that condition up at all costs that's fun to me and dead man and misery have so far been the only two modes that really bring me that fun. Interloper brings you that fun for the first three days. But then once you find, uh, <laughs> once you find a hacksaw and then you forge, it's not fun anymore. But in Dead Man, once you forge, uh uh, it's still day to day survival. So those two modes, Dead Man and Misery, have brought me the most fun in the long dark. Probably Dead Man a little more fun just because you legitimately have to keep your condition up like you have to there is no way around it if you lose that condition it's gone forever and you can only restore it by stims which i find to be really fun i do the temperature the freezing rate is a little less than it is in this mode but i mean you have to have a tea on you at all times so and the flask is what's going to make that really, really helpful. So I'm excited to find the flask in our potential next Dead Man series. So that's kind of the plan. Dead Man after this mode when we die. Or whenever we get like to a certain goal. I saw somebody commented maybe 50 days in misery. Uh, we'll see how long we can kind of go before things get a little dire here. But 50 days seems seems reasonable for a, for a reach of a goal. It seems reasonable. We'll see. See how it goes. Sometimes it can be a little deceiving, though. It's like, hey, 50 days. I mean, that's not too bad. 50 days, right? And then you get to day 20, and you're like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. These 50 days might be a little rough. So we'll have to wait and see. But here's Thompson's Crossing, though. Got here relatively unscathed. I think I will stop in here. Gonna do a 
few looting. It looks like all the houses, or at least most of the houses, have been burnt out. So that's a thing. How many books do I have for starting a fire? I'll take one. Just one. That's it. It's usually just books in here. Don't really remember anything of use being found in that building anyway. Okay. Get in here. Unfinished house. Sometimes you get some okay stuff in here. Uh, lamp fuel. That's not bad. That's not bad. At this point, though, I might as well just use it for <laughs> an accelerant. I'll hold on to it. If I don't want it, I can just drop it in the uh, community hall. Not gonna check the cars or anything. I think we're fine on that. Any potatoes or carrots? That'd be a good idea. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, no real houses to check. Hey, sometimes there's a cured birch sapling back here. Sometimes it's laying around here. Not today, though. Nothing in that bin. Okay. All right. Time to warm up. Time to warm up. We're almost at 50% condition. We probably are at 50% condition. So we'll get in here. Okay. Potato. Nice. Excellent. And is that all we're going to find? <laughs> Just a potato. It, it might be that way. Oh, I need to find another jacket, though. That is something... That hopefully the community hall can have for us. Come on, food. I have all these cattails, which is nice, but I do want other things. I'll even take sardines. You know, I'll take sardines. It's saying a lot because sardines are horrible. I'll pass on those. Need the cloth, but it's fine. Am I still carrying that bedroll? I am. Drop that thing. I might as well just drop it in the community hall. It's already here. Brought it this far. At least the community hall is in a more centralized location. So I actually might be passing through here again. There is a chance for that. Whoops, don't want to sleep. Not right now. Nothing going on. I'll take the water. That's why I didn't make any more water in that cave. Uh, I'll drink the soda, too. Give us a little more calorie to work with. Cool. Alright, this place is searched out. I'll take the salt, though. We'll bring it next door. We're gonna hit that rural store eventually, as well. Gonna need to. Alright, and the entrance to uh, Mystery Lake is back that way, so... We will be hitting it probably in the next episode. So we do have a save, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, like I said, we'll work our way into Mystery Lake and hopefully into Forsake, or yeah, no, Forlorn Muskeg. I get those two all confused all the time. Both F and both start with four, you know? Forsaken and Forlorn. But we'll get there, hopefully. Um, we'll have to see what we can do in terms of making a bow and forging. But those are questions for the next episode. So if you all made it this far, as always... Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.